I wager that you forget this. I know hundreds of our members do. I know I do. I know top players do. I know hackers do. The fact is, the golf swing is just that. It's a swing. It's about movement. It's not about backswing, top of backswing, takeaway, transition, impact, downswing, through swing, whatever it might be. It's a swing, it's a movement. And I'm gonna tell you why it's catastrophic if you don't tap back into that natural instinct. Let's get into it. I am Alex Forte, and this is The Art of Simple Golf, where we're just trying to make this crazy game a bit more fun, simple, and enjoyable, but actually give us the results that we know we deserve, right? You deserve it. I sometimes deserve it, but you definitely do. I do put out on here lessons for the backswing, for the downswing, for the transition, for impact, you know, club face feel, whatever it might be to help you sort of understand the sort of departments of the game. But where so many of you go wrong, so many of you go wrong when you start segmenting the swing so much, you forget that it has to all flow together because there's a consequence to a backswing. There's a consequence to a downswing. They all have to work, not necessarily in harmony, but they can't conflict. And not understanding that is what's holding a lot of you back because you're pinballing from tip to tip, from uh, idea to idea. You have to understand that it still has to have the most important tenant, which is it's a golf swing. It's a movement. If you are trying to work on a takeaway, that's perfectly fine. If you're trying to work on a sort of top of the back swing feel, fine. But when you're out on the golf course, you have to just let go of that. The most important thing is to be precise with your intention, with your shot direction, with the flight, with the shape, with the feel. Even if you're crap, you have to apply this. Give yourself a chance. Stop guessing at golf. Just tell your brain, your body, what you want to do with an intermediate point and with the shot that you want, and you will see the but let's say that's a given. We've got other lessons on that. We've even got a, a series called The Simple Process, which if I can remember to link below, takes you through the most important steps that an instant and easy, simple process is an acronym. And it is really, you know, transforming so many golfers. But anyway, let's just say you've got that down pat. You're, you're thinking about these swing positions, fine. You're, you're, whether it's the takeaway, you wanna have this feel, you wanna have a backswing feel, you wanna have a downswing feel, impact. That's all well and good, but you've got to have you know, a fluid action. Otherwise you end up being sort of stocky and you know, piecemealing this thing together, whatever it might be. You have to have flow. You have to have movement and it is just a swing, okay? It is just a swing. So I want you to just try this. Just try swinging. I'll give you one thought, okay? That's it. Are you a culprit of this? Tell me below. Is this something that you recognize within yourself that you're thinking about, not necessarily just positions, but you're thinking about the goal swing in different aspects? You're kind of forgetting about the rhythm and the sequence and the natural slinging effect. Is that you? Let me know. So let's presume it is you and you're still watching. Hello, we can fix it. All I want you to do is just really focus on rhythm and timing. And as you step up to the ball, you can have one swing thought. I'll give you one swing thought, all right? I don't care what it is, but I want you to have a constant fluid motion. Doesn't necessarily mean slow doesn't necessarily mean quick, doesn't necessarily mean loose. I just want you to swing the golf club, the movement. Just think about it as, um, you know, we've got a lesson where we talk about tossing, catching, and throwing. 
that's very much about a swing. But if that hasn't hit home yet, or you haven't seen that video, check it out below. Um, I just want you to feel like, okay, I've got to start the swing, and then the only thing I care about is finishing the swing. It's a nice fluid action. I don't know why it didn't register there. But I'm not going to demonstrate the fluid motion here because I want you to find yours. But I want you to think, even when you're over the ball, perhaps this will help you. I know this has helped some others, is just thinking, swing, swing, all right? Is that my best goal swing? No, but I swung it. I certainly didn't feel like it was segmented. Did I flip at it a little bit? Yes. So my swing thought will be, I just want to try and extend a little bit and hold that there. That's where I want to get to, but I'm still just going to swing there. All right, a better strike, a better swing, but I swung. Swing the club, start it the momentum, find the tempo, find the rhythm. Don't think about it in segments, especially when you're playing, all right? I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a big sort of 10,000 foot overview, but hopefully it just resonates and just gives you a chance to kind of step out your mind a little bit, step away from, you know, YouTube a little bit, looking for tip to tip, and just, you know, what does it feel like to swing the club, to have constant sort of movement and rhythm? Think about movement, think about swinging, all right? Let me know if you've got any questions and uh, like and subscribe and there's some free series below. See you next time.